investment. Well, Jamie Murray is here with me now. He's only 11 and already he's got a serious collecting habit. He and his dad, Liam, wrote to me recently with pictures of Jamie's wonderful collection of Hanna-Barbera items. And I just had to see it for myself. Welcome to the show, both of you. Hello. Are all the models that we see here created by Mr. Hanna and Mr. Barbera? Yep, they're all models created by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. And how many do you reckon you've got in total? Oh, there's lots and lots here. They've created so many different characters and we're always looking for new characters. And who's your favourite one, Jamie? <laughs> Top Cat. It's Top Cat, is it? And that's yeah. your dad's favourite too, I think, isn't it? It is indeed, yeah. Now, what of all of these do you reckon has been the best bargain, maybe, Jamie? <laughs> this one here. Tell me about this one. Yeah, we found him at 50p at a boot, so he, and he talks. He talks? Okay, Pebbles, say goodnight to who? Dino. Dino, excellent. Dino. Is that the only thing he says? No. no, he's got about six different phrases he says. Excellent, and this was just 50p? Yep. Not bad going, eh? Now, you've got all sorts of merchandise here. Apart from the models, there's a load of packaging as well. Tell me about that. Well, basically, um, as we've been collecting, rather than throw the old cereal packets away, Easter egg boxes, we decided to keep them, and then the collection sort of really grew from there. So, do things like this already change hands at toy fairs? Not at the moment. Um, there are some very old cereal packaging from the late 50s by Kellogg's, mm. and they're very hard to come by. We haven't found any yet. Well, it's lovely to have a father and son collection, so you provide the encouragement and the pocket money, I guess. Tell me honestly, how much do you spend on each item? Um, it varies. I mean, some of the items, some of the fast food items you can get for around about 50 pence, or if you go to a toy fair, some of the more rarer American ones are as much as two pound. Yeah, but it's around a pocket money Oh, margin. definitely, yes, yeah. There's a signed annual over there, an autograph in black felt tip. Who's autographed that? That's Owayo Takimoto. He worked for William Hanna and Joseph Barbera Studios in Beverly Hills. He also created some of the characters, Scooby-Doo and some Wacky Races characters as well. And also at the front I can see some, some china, which looks as if that dates from what, the, the 60s, 70s? Yeah, that's from the early 60s by Ridgeway Potteries. Um, we've got a few different cups and saucers down there. Yeah, so they're especially cherished. Yep. Now, tell me, when you are at home and you've got all this out, are you allowed to play with it? No. Oh, I suspected as much, oh, Liam, you sports thought. Why don't you let him play with them? Um, certain toys he plays with. Um, other toys, I mean, there's just so many here, um, it'd be difficult to, but he plays with some of the toys. And I don't know about value, but I mean, are you banking on this being worth a lot of money one day? Um, no, it's more sentimental value, really. We've always liked the Hanna-Barbera characters that I've seen on television over the years, so we're always looking out for new characters. And is there anything in particular, Jamie, that you think you might like to add to your collection? Hong Kong Fu and Hair Bear Bunch. Hong Kong Fu and... The Hair, Hair Bear, Bear Bunch. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, That's they're quite missing hard to come moment. by. Yeah, we haven't got anything to do with Hair Bear Bunch or Hong Kong Fui, unfortunately. Well, good luck in your hunt for all of that. And thanks very much, Jamie, mm. for dressing up with your Flintstones mm. shirt on today. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. And if you've got a collection, whatever its value, then do write to me, like Jamie did, at the usual address, Collector's Lot, P.O. Box 17, Plimpton, Devon, PL75YG. I look forward to reading your letters. There's a quick break now and then a stack of...